it's very difficult to imagine that you can actually control something on a screen by your thought processes or by your brain. Well, if you understand peripheral biofeedback, if I put a temperature sensor on your finger, I can teach you to raise that temperature by thought, and that is using your brain to control a peripheral process. It's not a very far leap to think if the brain can control something this far away that it couldn't control its own process. It's amazing. Yes, it is. What exactly do you treat at your clinic? Well, we treat a wide variety of things. Because I'm a trauma specialist, I get in the area of a lot of anxiety disorders. We also treat, of course, ADD, as I described to you. We um, can treat depression. We do do head injuries as well. Anxiety, depression, attention deficit, some head injuries, uh, some strokes, uh, some people with addiction. What do you treat the most? Probably at this point in my practice, which is relatively new, affect disorders, depression, anxiety, stress-related disorders. Language areas, um, a lot of attention deficit, um, a lot of children with autism, behavior disorders, uh, headaches. In um, 1993, we started treating depression by changing um, brain wave, the balance of alpha brain waves in the, in the uh, left and right hemisphere. Can you get people off of medication? Some people can actually get off of their medication. Some people remain on very mild doses. But the main thing about the treatment of neurofeedback for depression and for other disorders is that in contrast to medication, which is only, the change is only good as long as you're on medication. With neurofeedback, you actually do a structural reallocation of brain waves. And this, this lasts. Our patients who we treated for depression over 10 years ago are not depressed and their brain waves have held the changes that they made some 10 years ago. So these are permanent changes? They are, they're permanent changes. What do most of your clients say? Well, first of all, they, they like this approach because there is no toxic medications involved. If the patient is on medication, we have them continue with the medication until they learn to control the brain wave activity, and then they can diminish their use of it. We have quite a few four-year-old children or so that are not speaking very well or very much for that matter. So they all have language disorders and that's very fun to work with because you start seeing them talk more, you can understand them. Children who are like um, very out of control, they can't, you know, they're all over the room and they, um, they don't, they're not able to control themselves very well at all and, and, and they calm down and they sit down and they attend to things which it's something that their parents hadn't seen. They say that they find that they focus better, that they feel better, or that they're more outgoing, more able to relate to the things in their life that they have to do. I think they enjoy the treatment itself because usually you can feel a little bit of something happening during the treatment. But overall, I think the, the rewards are longer term. Our patients are very excited about the treatment and I, I have some verbatim information. Okay, here. give us some yeah. quotes. I'm feeling great, I'm more outgoing. She said, my friends are asking me what I'm on. <laughs> After the first session, I didn't think I was going to feel better, but I do. After the 12th session, I'm feeling good, I'm not depressed. I feel brighter and, and lighter. I notice more things in my environment. Lights feel more intense. You know, when somebody comes back into the office and says, I was able to write a paper in 10 minutes and normally it would have taken me a few hours. Um, or I read a book in three, you know, in three weeks. It was a really long book, and I've never been able to do anything like that before. It's, um, you know, it's very, it's very exciting. I had uh, somebody who had a stroke mm -hmm. and uh, was not walking well, had no movement on the right arm, and could only say you know, individual words. And um, at the end of the neurofeedback, they were carrying on full conversations and um, the, uh, this person was walking better, wow. and the arm that didn't have any movement was starting, starting to, uh, you know, starting to move. So the power so. of the brain can really be used to help us feel better. Absolutely, absolutely. Just yesterday, um, a mom said that her little boy uh, 
was just doing so excellently that the speech therapist at his school had retested him from May to December and his scores went up 40 points, wow. which is That's incredible. absolutely incredible. That's incredible. As a speech therapist for all those years, I never saw changes in that direction as I saw it, you know, as I heard with this little boy and there they were, the scores. Before I let you go, could you tell us something about EEG Chicago? It's 10 or 12 uh, specialists throughout Chicagoland who've come together and who uh, want to introduce uh, EEG biofeedback to, to the whole area. We happen to think that we have something that, that we really want, want the world to know about. We have a vast geographical spread between all those members of EEG Chicago, so we typically can find uh, a location in which the patient can uh, avail themselves of these services and minimize the travel distances and so because they do have to come two and sometimes three times a week. That's our goal, is to make sure that when people are recommended to our group that we are of the highest uh, caliber. We're a small group because this is a new field and I think working with pioneers like Elsa Bear and Rufus Bear who are in this area who pioneered some of this work has um, contributed to that development of that group. All of the people who are in our group are licensed in their own fields as well as having um, special training in EEG neurofeedback. So if we go to anyone in the EEG Chicago group, we know we're in good hands. Well, that's true. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs>